Following a developing story tonight in Connecticut making national news, a community reacting now after a video surfaced showing the moments right after a Bridgeport police officer shot and killed a teenage boy. Police said that 15-year-old was behind the wheel of a stolen car and hit at least one officer trying to stop him. News 8's Bob Wilson is live with a new video that may be shedding light on what happened after that boy was shot. Bob. It has been a long week. It started off this incident happened last Tuesday. There have been rallies and vigils held. And tonight, another rally after a new video comes forward and fans the flames of emotion. And we're holding the police accountable because that's what we do because the police work for us. It was a sanctuary city rally in front of Bridgeport City Hall that turned into a civil justice protest. 15 year old Jason Negron was shot and killed by police last Tuesday after he allegedly stole a car and struck two police officers. New video of Negron handcuffed laying face down on the street has surfaced on Twitter. The video shows him handcuffed on the stomach facing the camera. The camera dips down away for about four to five seconds and then pops back up and now Negron's head is facing the other direction. There is a police officer with him and sirens can be heard in the background. Police say he was pronounced dead at the scene, but in the video family members say he looks alive, which makes them doubt the police side of the story. I think it's outrageous and it's unacceptable. Um, I don't think there's any justification for the police to have done that. Um, I, I'm sick. I'm sick seeing that video. And people we talked to say, you have to remember this is just a snapshot in time, a one minute window. You don't know what happened before the video. You don't know what happened after the video. And that's why police say this will be part of the investigation, but they're going to look at all the evidence. Now, we did reach out to Mayor Ganim. I talked to him on the phone and he says, really right now, there's not much to comment on. He's waiting for the investigation by state police. I'm angry, um, and, and, and this community is angry, and we're standing together. We're not, we're not going to just sit back and let this happen. We want accountability for these officers. Bridgeport police say the officer had been on the job only one year and is on leave pending the investigation. He sold the straw. I mean, the, the last thing he wanted to do was to pull out that gun and, and, and shoot that, that, that boy. Now, two New Haven lawmakers, Porter and Winfield, say tomorrow they're planning a news conference as they advocate for more police accountability. That'll be here in New Haven. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live, News 8.